What's the deal, y'all? Before we start, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get uh, this video into the YouTube algorithm or my channel just in general to the YouTube algorithm. You know, so we can blow up. Uh, I appreciate anybody that's watching. Thank you to all my 50 subscribers I got right now. It's a big milestone for me, man. Very happy. So everybody that's subscribed, I appreciate y'all, man. And uh, yeah, man, let's get into the video. Today we're going to talk about something that not many people, many athletes like to come on the internet and talk about. Whether it's because they in deny or they're just scared. But I'm going to talk about it. Um, just because I know a lot of people, a lot of athletes, a lot of young adults in general are going through, are going to go through, or have went through already. So I'm just here to give my experience, share some stories, how I overcame it what it taught me, what it did for me, challenges. So basically, I was an alcoholic, I had a very bad alcohol, like partying problem. It was like for most people, it started in college, finally got away from home, can move how I wanna move, uh, nobody telling me what to do. So I was an athlete, obviously, a division one athlete, so that really, really played a lot into it. But I was kind of limited in college. Like most people, I didn't have any money. I wasn't 21. So the problem didn't get too bad until I left college and went overseas. Then I lost my mind. Dead ass. Lost it. But I got money now. You feel me? So I can move how I want to move. I'm 21, 22, however old I, old I was. But I have my ID. I can get in the club. Um, the lifestyle, like I mentioned before in one of my videos of overseas basketball can get to you. The lifestyle of professional athletes, athletics can get to you. And it got to me. <laughs> got to me. You got so much free time. You're bored. You're lonely. The peer pressure is going to be crazy because all your teammates going to be doing it. The guys that's already been over here, so they already got the habit of going out three, four, five times a week. No cap. I was doing that, bro four times, five times a week, every week, drinking three, four fifths of Hennessy every week. And yeah, that first year, those first couple years is really like combined with my college, my college years is I just developed really bad habits. And that went on for about six, seven years. I was in the cycle. Um, and when you're an athlete, you have a real big ego. See what I'm saying? Like athletes got egos and that lifestyle plays right into it, right into your ego. It's kind of like, it's almost like a trap, man, because you're going out, you're going to the clubs, you're going to the club, you're skipping the lines. They give you the best, the best booths. You can get any girl you want, literally picking like this, like you come here and they're going to come. So it's very hard especially when you're young, don't really know much. You going, man, you, you, it's hard to say no. So I don't blame nobody that, that's going through this right now or went through it or that's going to go through it, man. Just be aware of it. Uh, always be aware of, of what you're doing to your body and to your, your mind, your brain. Um, and it went on for me for so long. Like I said, it was about six, seven, eight years maybe it's because my ego was so big and I was telling myself that it's all good, man. Like, I'm straight. Like, nobody can, nobody can stop me. I'm still going out every night, getting 20, 30, drinking two days before. I never drink really before a game, but I drink two days before. But it was cool because I was getting 20, 30. I'd go out, get drunk, come back at 5, 6 in the morning, wake up at 8, or not even sleep sometimes, man go to the gym, sweat it out, have a great workout. While the dudes that didn't go out, 
we're still in bed. So my ego was telling myself like, you, can, you know what I mean, it's good for you. Help me relax, keep your mind off basketball. You feel me, that's how crazy I was. That's how bad an addiction, it can tell you anything, man. Your ego can tell you anything. Hey, listen, bro, I can't, I can't fuck with this nigga no more, bro. This ain't got me twisted. <laughs> I work harder than any of you niggas, and I have more fun than any of you niggas, and I promise you that. <laughs> so what the fuck is y'all doing, y'all? You see how crazy I sound and how crazy the ego is? Really sitting there telling myself that it's okay for me to drink and go party and turn up because I'm going to get 20, 30 the next day. Dudes can't really check me. It's crazy, man, because they really couldn't. <laughs> they couldn't but I realized I was having uh, success but I wasn't successful and that's really my my, my goal in life man is to, is to be successful in every part of life man just to be a successful person so the first step to really like recovery I know it's cliche man but it's so true dog I'm telling y'all man it's true is to recognize and be honest with yourself. You feel me? Uh, and this really didn't click for me until my third year overseas. Uh, I was still in Tunisia. I played my first three years in Tunisia. My first two years I was in the capital, uh, which was lit. That's why, like I said, I started <laughs> started going down the wrong path, man. But it was fun. Uh, so my third year I was in a city called Monastir, which is two hours, two and a half hours away from the, the city and out there was nothing to do bro no clubs no bars no females it was like the boonies so i was out there for like a month before i just got fed up <laughs> a good month and i couldn't do it no more no going out no party and i started driving two three times a week two and a half hours a day going to tunis booking a hotel at airbnb just to go party you know and I did that for a whole year and it wasn't until one day I was driving after practice and I almost fell asleep I like ran off the side of the road and eyes burning had to pull over take a little nap and as I'm sitting there I was like man what are you doing like what's the what's the point of this bro why can't why couldn't you stay at your apartment and sleep and that right there showed me like I have a problem. <laughs> like I might have a problem, you feel me? But it definitely didn't stop there. You feel me? I definitely went and it continued for about another two years. And I didn't really start to change and start to break the addiction until I started to educate myself. So that's the, the second thing you need to do is educate yourself. Edu edu educate yourself not really about alcoholism and addiction, but about habits and the brain and what you're doing and how you're programming yourself and how hard it is to break these programs. So, uh, yeah, man, that's, what, that's, that's really how I overcame it. Believe it or not, man, was just through education. Like, like they say, knowledge is power. Another cliche, but it's true. Pick up a book, read, learn about yourself, learn about your mind, learn about your brain. And you will understand that that shit is not good at all. So that really helped me break it. And even though I, I, I knew the information, I knew the knowledge, man, it was still hard. Um, you're still gonna, gonna get the cravings and the feelings that, that you used to get. But you the key is so you gotta just learn how to how to sit through it, man, and and watch yourself and recognize the thoughts that coming that are coming to your, your mind. And what triggers you have and when the cravings come it's going to be hard man but you got to just sit through it man and just fight that feeling and, and get a hobby and just know that it's for the better man once you break a habit like that that's so strong you realize that you can do anything and that's why i feel like it was a good thing for me like god if you believe in god gives us everything that comes into our life whether it's good or bad things overcome for a reason so if, you, if you're going through this right now, man, and you get over it, man, you'll see what I mean. It's hard, but it's worth it. You feel me? So like, comment, subscribe, share this video to somebody that you feel like need to hear this. Don't got to be an athlete. 
I know this is a little different video uh, than the other ones. So yeah, my, my channel is not really just for athletes. So just subscribe. Like I said, I'm trying to get the YouTube algorithm, trying to get this information out, uh, trying to blow up because I'm not doing nothing big. Nothing big. I'm not doing nothing small. Everything big. I'm going to do it. I got to get right, man. So I appreciate y'all for listening. Tune in tomorrow. I'm going to throw a video up every single day, like I said. So yeah, I appreciate y'all. And I'm out.